Hi Plenty People, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is going to be all about Ascananthus Care, also known as Lipstick Plant Care. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are familiar with lipstick plants, especially lipstick plant blooms. None of mine are in bloom at the moment, so I'll make sure and insert a picture right over here to show you guys why uh, lipstick plants are called lipstick plants. It's specifically because of their blooms because whenever they start off, they start off like a little, you know, a little uh, vial, of, a little tube of lipstick. And then as the bloom becomes more mature, it almost like twists up like a red piece of uh, lipstick coming out of the tube. It's really cool. It's really neat to look at. I've, uh, I've had two of my lipstick plants bloom for me and one of them that hasn't yet, but I'm thinking that maybe Maybe soon that it'll uh, it'll do that for me. So if you want your lipstick plants to bloom, a one good way to encourage them to bloom is to keep them within the 70 to 80 degree Fahrenheit uh, temperature because that's that's the that's the um, that's the temperature that they like to be in in order to promote blooming. Now let's go ahead and talk about light. Now lipstick plants really enjoy a lot of light. However. Do not put them in full light, full direct light. Um, I have a variegated uh, lipstick plant that does get a little bit of direct light, but not all day long. Uh, for the most part, she gets um, a lot of bright indirect light with just a few hours of direct light. Um, but with that being said, do not give lipstick plants a complete shade either. Uh, make sure that they are, I would say, Getting, giving them uh, at least medium light, medium to high bright light. But that bright light needs to be bright indirect light, if possible. So now when it comes to watering, uh, for me, I try to either water whenever the soil is on the drier side because I'd rather keep these plants a little bit more moist just because I do live in Florida and it's, and it's so hot and it's humid outside. Uh, the water just seems to just evaporate out of the soil much quicker than it would in uh, you know different different areas and just remember that I do live in zone 10a and that is a very important if you want to wait for your plant to show you uh, signs of it needing to be watered I'll insert a little clip right here of what uh, leaves look like whenever they're just screaming that they're thirsty. They really get really nice and wrinkly and I love when plants do this because it just makes watering that much easier and it takes a guesswork out of uh, whether or not your plant needs to be watered or not. One really good way to find out if you have underwatered your plant is the leaves will wrinkle up really severely and they will just fall off like they won't even turn yellow they'll just fall off that's what I did I made the mistake with my uh, my Mona Lisa uh, over the uh, winter time I didn't water her as frequently as I should have and she lost a ton a ton of leaves and she's still trying to recover to this day I'm not gonna show her in this video because she's just so pitiful and I've showed her in uh, videos before where she was like in full bloom I'll make sure and link that video up above also, if you overwater your lipstick plants, the leaves t uh, tend to do the same thing. They'll just, they'll just fall right off. I don't think there's a whole lot of yellowing that these plants like to do. I think they, they're very dramatic and they, they don't even go, uh, they don't even show signs other than the wrinkling if they're dry and if they're overwatered, I think they just, they just fall right off. Lipstick plants are vining plants, so they like to they like to dangle. They like to um, they like to hang down. I prefer having mine in hanging baskets, but I do have one that's just in a pot in a terracotta pot at the moment. I have my other two lipstick plants in hanging baskets that I keep outside, which I keep all three of mine outside as well. And this is the part where I go ahead and show you a few examples of the plants that I have. Um, you might recognize this guy. He was in my, um, what was that video called? My top five, uh, like favorite plants or something like that. I'll make sure and I'll link it up above. But this is my lipstick plant. He's my black pagoda. He's really, really neat because he's got all these designs underneath and on top of the leaves. Um, he's a really fast grower. Not like tremendously fast. Like he's not like growing 
new vines every day or anything like that but he usually has new little leaves that are that are constantly growing and he's so beautiful to look at um he does get a little drier than um my other two but that's mainly just because he is in a terracotta pot and terracotta wicks away moisture it's probably getting time for a repot for this guy so stay tuned for that in my next uh, repot with me. And Big Mama that we have over here is my variegated lipstick plant. Now, I don't know if you can really tell because it's, it's, it's nighttime now <laughs> and so I don't have the, the usual sunlight that's coming in through the window, uh, but there is a lot of variegation that's on the leaves. Uh, I'll try and make sure and include a clip right here of what those leaves look like in the sunlight. But this guy has grown tremendously uh, this, this spring slash summer. Um, after, I, after I fertilized him the first time, I've only fertilized him like twice um, this spring slash summer, and he's put out so much new growth. He wasn't, I, I, I'd say like from here down is completely new growth. And that is really freaking awesome yeah, he is just loving life See, he's one of my one of my favorite plants at the moment just because I love seeing plants you know give give me what I feel like I'm giving them I want to see a little bit give me something because I'm giving you a lot of something I want you to give me something back I would definitely recommend a lipstick plant to a beginner who is just getting into houseplants because like I said they're very um they're very vocal with their watering needs and I feel like watering is usually the hardest thing for somebody to um, to learn and adjust to so I would say 100% especially since you're just looking for those leaves to get kind of wrinkly or you're just waiting for the soil to dry out it's easy to just stick your finger right into that into that soil and figure out if it's dry or not yeah I think that's all I have to say right now for the Aeschinanthus um, I love this plant. I would definitely recommend lipstick plants to everybody. Um, I feel like nobody talks about lipstick plants enough, which they should. But yeah, so that's going to be the end of today's video. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a tidbit on what's going on in tomorrow's video. That way you can have something to look forward to. It is going to be me shouting out this really awesome uh, Etsy, sh Etsy account, store, shop. You know what I mean? Uh, and I'm going to be talking about a specific plant that I got from there and that I think you guys will really enjoy and absolutely love. But as always, if you like the content, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you really like the content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right down below. And we'll see you guys tomorrow.